Hello, Paul here from iPad Monthly. Look, at a recent uh, conference, um, I, I try and set the scene before I jump into the applications and start with the why. So I thought I'd share this with you because I've had a lot of uh, teachers asking about creating kind of culture at your school in regard to how to use technology and, and using it effectively. So I thought I'd share with you some of the things that we've done to create a culture of learning with technology um, in our school. And hopefully that resonates and give you some examples of maybe what you could possibly do. So one of the things that obviously you want to do is you want to start, not start with the applications, but actually start with the why we're we using this. So one of the great things that you can ask your teachers and start the conversation is how do we actually, or what role do we want technology to play with our students? What, what do we actually want them to do? Um, if you actually ask those questions of your teachers, it's, it's quite amazing what comes back because what you find is you might not have a shared vision of how you would like technology to be used in your classroom. You may even get some pretty, um, I guess, worrying signs that teachers may in fact use them um, to keep kids quiet, to keep them busy, um, and really they say to keep them engaged, but one of the things that we need to look at is um, what is engagement? Is it actually engagement in the screen itself or is it in the actual learning activity itself? So these are all um, some great questions that before you make big purchases with devices, whether you go with Apple, Microsoft, Google, all the different platforms, is that you need to ask your teachers these questions so that you can establish what is it that you want technology to do with your students. Uh, the other thing, obviously, you want you to do is actually ask your, your students that as well and actually ask what kinds of things that they're actually going to be used um, to create content and so forth as well. So from that, um, you're going to have some really, really difficult uh, discussions about these things. And to establish that shared vision or that culture, what you need to do is actually have those really difficult conversations with your staff. And then when you get to that, you can actually develop something like we've developed, which is at Flinders, we've developed a, an ICT vision statement that says, okay, this is our blueprint. This is the actual things that we share in regard to what we actually want technology to do. And then from that stems um, a really good platform and a really good blueprint for actually purchasing different devices and different applications. So one of the things that we really wanted to do was to bring uh, the outside world into the classroom. So obviously, uh, investing in mobile technology was something that we needed to do to actually support that vision of where we wanted to go. And even if you look at the apps that we kind of highlight with iPad Monthly, um, for example, Explain Everything and Book Creator, you can see there that the tools that we're using in those applications actually support the vision that we actually want. So we don't actually want um, technology to, to, to kind of shut our kids up, but we want it to actually to, to stimulate and get them talking about their learning. We want it to be about the process of learning more than just the product at the end. So that's why we're going to have some of these features in the apps that we actually support with iPad Monthly because it supports the vision of how we believe kids learn and the, the kind of the role technology is actually going to play in it. So look, I thought I'd, it's not really a tutorial. It's a bit more of creating that kind of class vision um, and that school culture of how you want to use technology in your school. And I think it's really worth doing with all schools before they start to make those decisions about what devices they use and what kind of activities that you'll do with devices and also the applications that you'll use that will support that vision. I hope you found that useful. It's a little bit different of a tutorial, a bit different of a presentation, but I thought it was really worthwhile because I'm having a lot of teachers ask me about the process that we went through to create that kind of ICT vision at our school. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.